uh, this course is linear algebra and applications. My name is Chao Zhang. I'm in the Department of Applied Mathematics, Beijing Jiao Tong University. Uh, we use this textbook written by Stephen Leung. Uh, the importance of this course, uh, because this course has many applications, uh, such as business, uh, economics, sociology, uh, ecology, electronics, engineering, and physics. And uh, this course is a mathematical basis for many other courses. So this course is very important. And the feature of this course is that uh, linear algebra is very abstract, but eventually you will find it has very clear structure. So follows, go on, you will find it's easy. Uh, chapter one is about uh, matrices and the systems of equations. Uh, we will learn uh, those contents. The first one, systems of linear equations. Uh, the second one is about row echelon form. The third one, matrix algebra. And the fourth one, elementary matrices. The last one, we will learn about uh, partition matrices. Uh, the first part, we focus on the form, solution, and the two by two system. First, we consider a linear equation in n unknowns. So the equation is like this a1 times x1 plus a2 times x2 plus tl plus an times xn equals b. Here, a1, a2, tl, an, they are given. They are fixed already. And x1, x2, tl, xn, they are unknown variables. So this is only one equation, but n unknowns. And uh, uh, in general, we consider a linear system of m equations in n unknowns. So this is an n by n linear system. So it's like the first equation is a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus tl plus a1n xn equals b1. And the second equation we write as a21 times x1 plus a22 times x2 plus tl plus a2n times xn equals b2. And the last equation, the mth equation is am1x1 plus am2x2 plus tl plus amnxn equals bm. Here, we have two uh, subscripts. The first equation, the second equation, till the mth equation. And the second subscript uh, means uh, it, its correspondence to the unknowns, unknown variables. Now, we consider about uh, what's the solution to this system. So we consider a solution uh, to an n by n system. So an ordered n tuple of numbers x1, x2, tl, xn that satisfies all the equations of the system. It is a, a solution to the uh, linear system. For the linear system, there are two cases for the solution. The first case is uh, consistent. So uh, for consistent case, this means uh, the solution set is uh, non-empty. Uh, it has at least one solution. And the second case is uh, inconsistent. So the solution set here is uh, empty for this case. There is no solution at all. Now we see some uh, uh, simple examples. So the first uh, linear system is a two by two system. We have two equations and two unknowns. So the first equation is x1 plus 2x2 equals 5. The second equation is 2x1 plus 3x2 equals 8. And in high school, for such simple linear system, we know how to solve it. Uh, you can just, using the first equation, you get x1 equals 5 minus 2x2, and you substitute it into the second equation, you will get x2 and then you can get x1. So for this linear system, you can find the solution set is uh, only a unique solution for this uh, linear system. It is uh, consistent. And now we consider the second uh, linear system. So the second linear system now is a two by three uh, system because uh, it's uh, uh, three unknowns. So you have uh, more choices. There are only two restrictions, two uh, equations. And for this system, 
uh, you can solve it. You can find uh, this two by three system is consistent. It has uh, uh, many solutions. So why, why can we get this? You, you see from the first equation and the second equation, if you use the first equation, you add to the second one, you will get uh, 3x1 equals 6. So x1 equals uh, 2. After you get x1 equals 2, uh, from the first equation, you will get uh, x2 uh, minus x3 equals 0. And the second equation also gives you x2 minus x3 equals 0. So for any x2, x3, you can choose arbitrary number. So there are infinite many solutions for this linear system. The third system is a, a 3 by 2 system. We have three equations and two unknowns. And from this equation, you see the first one, you have x1 plus x2 equals 2. And the second equation is about x1 plus x2 equals 1. So you can't find such tuple, right? You can't find such uh, numbers such that the two equations hold. So this linear system is uh, inconsistent. So this three by two system is inconsistent. There's no solution at all. And now we see uh, the simple case, two by two system. Uh, in a two by two system, we can write uh, it as uh, a11 times x1 plus a12 times x2 equals b1, a21 x1 plus a22 x2 equals b2. Easily see that. Each equation can be represented graphically as a line on the plane. So uh, the ordered pair x1, x2 will be a solution to this system if and only if it lies on both lines. If you have an intersection, then this linear system is a consistent. If you intersect, the intersection is only one point, it has a unique solution. If the two lines, you find they are parallel, if this case, there's no solution at all. And uh, the third case, if the two lines, in fact, they represent the same line, they coincide one with another, then there are infinite many solutions to this linear system. So we see these uh, examples of two by two linear system. The first one, x1 plus x2 equals two. Uh, x1, the second one, x1 minus x2 equals two. Uh, for the first one, we can easily see that this line passes through 2, 0, this point, and uh, 0, 2, this point. So you can draw this line here. And uh, for the second line, it, you can easily see that this line passes through 2, 0, and uh, 0, minus 2. So you have this line for the second equation. And uh, these two lines, they have only one intersection. So the linear system is consistent. There is only a unique solution. And uh, for the second two by two system, the first equation is uh, x1 plus x2 equals two. The second one is uh, x1 plus x2 equals one. For this linear system, you can draw the figure here. So uh, they are parallel lines. Because they are parallel lines, so you cannot find uh, an intersection point. So there's no solution for this linear system. So for the third two by two system, we can see that the first equation is uh, x1 plus x2 equals two. So it passes zero to zero point and zero two point. And the second one, although it written as minus x1 minus x2 equals minus two, it is equivalent to x1 plus x2 equals two. So they are the same line. So because they are the same line, so any point on this line is a solution to this linear system. So this linear system has uh, uh, infinitely many solutions. So the first one, it, it intersects at a point. The second one, because they are parallel, so no solution at all. And the third one, it represents the same line. So there are infinite many solutions. 